put the skater above the head. They can't do this. Makes and forces them to be more creative with with what they do, and and it's uh, it's really exciting to see. Definitely pushes them to be a lot more inventive. Mm. And I think we've seen that in this competition. It's uh, this was a reasonably large group, and it was just so nice to see so many young couples on the ice together. Yeah, we we have a very strong foundation of, of ice dancers. A lot of couples and a lot of talented couples and a lot of good coaches bringing them through, which is why we consistently have top top level guys. Thank you very much. Congratulations to our medalists. We can now move on to the junior dance competition. And once again, we invite our presentation party onto the ice. Referee Christopher Buchanan and technical controller Hilary Selby. And in third place, Representing Stratton, winners of the bronze medal, Natalia Palu and Frank Roselli. In second place, and winners of the silver medal, representing Sheffield, Lucy Hancock and Billy Wilson French. Billy Wilson French, another skater who does both dance and singles. And in first place, currently the British Junior well. Ice Dance Champions 2018. Representing Alexandra Palace, Sasha Fear and George Woodall. And it'll be an old family affair on the top of the podium today. Sasha, Lila's sister. And her partner win the juniors. Whoops. So they can go home and that family will have a very fun evening, I'm sure, tonight. Enjoying that. I know one of our top junior couples, Emily Brown and James Hernandez, had to withdraw. Yeah, that was a shame. But um, I know they were devastated for that because they love coming and performing here. You know, you, you, you really want to perform at nationals. Yeah. Um, but if, if it has to be done, it has to be done. Was there withdrawal through injury? Or? As far as I believe through injury, yes. That's a shame. I'm sure they'll be back next year, stronger than ever. And in a way, it also gives them more time to just, they don't have to worry about maybe going to, to junior worlds or doing internationals next year. They can take more time off, build on, and just start their foundations for next season earlier, which could give them an advantage going into the next season. trying to manage injury in all parts of the sport is, is very difficult um, I know when I was training there was, there was rarely a day where I wasn't sore so I don't know how you were Matt but I know you've had your fair share of injuries in the past as well mm. yeah I'd, I'd never did too bad it's just one season where it really it really got me and I missed the, the whole season through injury but other than that yeah it's managing the workload managing what you do when when you know you can do more when you can push yourself and when you go you know what I have to I have to reel it back in and it's that management and it comes with you know, working with your coaches working with with your with with the rest of the team whoever it be physios and, things like that. and it's working out what what works for you 